It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we've got a beer from Track Brewing Company and it was sent by the wonderful Stephen Claxon. Thank you very much Stephen Claxon. Over the last two months Stephen has sent two big boxes of beer and they've all been terrific. They've all been like the high class great quality craft beer that I love to drink. I really do. Track Brewing Company uh, one of my new favourite UK breweries. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to Manchester back in June it was. Doesn't time fly? August already. Uh, back in June I went to, to Track Brewing Company uh, based in, in the industrial estate at the back of Piccadilly train station in Piccadilly industrial estate actually. Uh, went there, drank some of their wonderful beer in their tap room, ate some amazing pizza with uh, Rob from Hopsy. Some of you have probably seen the video. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment, a little bit more, but uh, let's show you this lager first and foremost. Sydney English Lager, 4.2% ABV. I've never had a lager from Track before. I've had loads of their lovely IPA. I had a really good kind of, they did this uh, hand pulled. Hmm. They did this wonderful hand pulled beer as well, um, which was like just a staple. I believe it was just like a pale ale or something along those lines pulled through on a hand pull. It was fantastic, really good beer. So let's get this out then into a glass. See what we get. I've never had a lager from track, but I'm I'm hoping it's gonna be really good. Okay, so here we go. It's called Scoff. I know Skoll. Skoll is cheers in Norwegian. Scoff. I don't know. Maybe Scoff means lager. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Head has dissipated quite quickly on this one. Um interesting interesting slightly hazy looking lag you can see little bits and pieces floating around in the glass there uh, so it's, it's definitely an unfiltered kind of can conditioned beer let's get the aroma on this one I, I i must admit i am a little bit concerned with how quickly that head dissipated but of course it's always about the taste It smells pretty good. Slightly kind of citrusy, new world like. I'm getting lemon, citrus lemon and spices. A little bit of that lager malt, maybe some pills and malt in here. I've not read the can yet. I go into these beer reviews as blind as I can. Right. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, new world, definitely. Lemon. Lemon and lime. 4.2% ABV. Yeah, that's that's stunningly drinkable. Um, carbonation is quite high. That's okay. That's definitely okay. Um, it is a lager. Lagers generally... They are quite, they are higher in the carbonation. You, I mean, if you're concerned by the carbonation, you could always do a check pour, couldn't you? Dump it in and half of it in and get rid of that carbonation. Hmm. It is quite aggressive on the palate. With that carbonation when that when that aggression kind of when that aggressive carbonation kind of dies down a little bit you do get 
the grain first and foremost you get the grain you get this like, nice sweet malt flavor coming through it is crisp it is dry and then it's predominantly new world hops it's it's lemon lime maybe some tangerine really juicy like flavors coming through on the beer a little bit of bitterness on the back end very very good lager this very good lager i like it i like i do like a lager with a twist i do like the fact that you know you can chuck some new world hops in in a lager and you see what happens it doesn't always have to be sars hops does it I could drink an awful lot of that. 4.2% ABV. It's almost like a, dare I say it, dare I say it. It's almost like a stronger version of a Rattler, like a 4.2% like a ABV Rattler, but without the lemon, in, without the actual lemon in the beer, more to do with like New World hops, lemon, lime, orange, it's really refreshing. I could see myself barbecuing with this. Not 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 putting it on the food, you know. <laughs> Having it in my hand while I'm while I'm barbecuing, you know, swigging a few of these beers. Go well with loads of nice chicken and sausage and that sort of thing. Fantastic. Um let's let's read the, the, the side of the can then. A collaboration with Chef Tom Bands for the opening of his new restaurant. Scoff a crisp English lager using Halcyon malt and UK Cascade hops. I love Cascade. Absolutely love Cascade. Barley, oats, hops, yeast and water. There we are. Piccadilly Trading Estate, Manchester. Um, so th there's the beer. Um, I am going to quickly tell you about my trip to Manchester now. If you've not seen the video, I made one big video of... So I spent two days, two full days in Manchester. First day was all about breweries. We spent the whole day in Piccadilly Trading Estate, really. Uh, we went around all the breweries in Piccadilly Tra Trading Estate, Cloudwater, Track. Um, there was a new sour brewery around the corner that just opened. Uh, there was another. There was another brewery as well. I, I I can't quite put my name put my finger to with the name of it, but it was brilliant beer in there. All under little kind of railway arches round the corner there. Um, then the second day we spent Manchester t city centre travelling around all the pubs, and that was a that was a fabulous day as well. Really, really fabulous day. So have a look at that video: pubs and bars, breweries of Manchester. Have a look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Really good stuff. Um, I really enjoyed myself there. Yeah, I spent a good few hours in track. Drank loads of great beer in there. And uh, maybe this is the reason why Stephen Claxon has decided to send me a couple of cans of the track beer um, from Trembling Madness. Check out um, Trembling Madness, uh, their website. Or if you're in York, go to Trembling Madness because they stock some of the some of the most amazing, wonderful beers in the world. There, German, Czech, UK, American, you name it. Trembling Mar Madness generally got it. So rating for scoff then. It looks very good. It smells very good. It tastes very good. Well, let me go back. It looks, the looks, I could do with a little bit of a head retention on there. I could do with a little bit of head on the beer, but um, it, it, it doesn't overly concern me because the beer tastes really good. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Great to see UK Cascade in a lager. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.